1979 to 2005, and I had to endure uh, buses, although I did operate trolley coaches. Um, so, but my primary uh, joy there was to work the F line. Uh, the F line was introduced into the, to um, to the public on September 1st, 1995. Uh, that's a, just a front page of my book. Okay, so uh, when Mormon Walt Thompson gave two toots on the whistle of the Black Bull boat tram on the morning of September 1st, 1995, the dreams of many San Franciscans, transit workers, politicians, rail fans, and the general public to reestablish the streetcar line on Market Street, San Francisco's premier boulevard, came true. The boat card led a 20 trolley parade from Market and Second Streets, featuring newly remanufactured PCCs painted in liveries honoring other American cities that rostered the PCC. The new F Market Historic Streetcar Line opened for service, ushering in a new era of public transportation in San Francisco. Now, as uh, was alluded, uh, it's not just a tourist line. It's a line for all San Franciscans, visitors, residents, uh, people, people who just like to ride. Uh, it, you know, it's not just a tourist-oriented uh, uh, line, but it's for everybody. So uh, I put together a show tonight that will, uh, was going to feature what happened before the F line, but we're going to save that for a later date. Uh, uh, without further ado, this is a uh, poster drawn up by the booster group Market Street Railway. Uh, and distributed on opening day. Uh, it's based on an old picture showing old streetcars running past the Palace Hotel. Mm -hmm. And there's the parade. There's a parade here. Mm -hmm. And there's another uh, shot taken by Joe Seda, the late Joe Seda, great photographer. Okay, now uh, we're going to skip the background for now. I'm just going to, whoops, uh, go forward quite a bit. <coughs> uh, past, past the trolley festivals, let's see. No, i go a little further. So bear with me. As I'm, I'm a first time presenter with digital. gone too far. Photo mm. day. <coughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, now I... Thank you. All right, here we go. Even as the festivals ended, their pop popularity got officials working, and let's... Uh, Blow this up so you can see it better. Uh, to secure funding for a new permanent line, Mayor Diane Feinstein was the catalyst, really, who uh, got uh, a permanent line for Market Street. Without her, um, uh, would there be buses on Market Street? Mm -hmm. And we all know what we think of buses. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we're now we're. Uh, 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 I'm going to show some shots of rebuilding the tracks uh, on Market Street. Mm. If I'm going too fast, let me know. Fourteen PCCs were purchased from Philadelphia, and three of Muni's own cars were remanufactured by Morris and Knuts, and they don't do that anymore. <coughs> A uh, new, new track was installed in, in, in four separate contracts. 
Uh, here's phase one, putting in a new crossover at Fifth and Market, and uh, that's a torpedo PCC testing it out on a very rainy day. And then this is a car from from Russia, uh, uh, from not built 1912. It has steerable axles. That's why they're testing it at, with that car. Hmm. This is a new new uh, switch at First and Market and the Fremont and Market. Uh, Church and Market, phase, phase three. Phase three was actually putting in the tracks between uh, uh, DeBose and Castro. This is Castro Street, 17th and Noe. And after it got paved, Uh, palm trees were rather controversial. Uh, once people said they don't belong in San Francisco, but after they grew out, everybody got used to them. Uh, 11th Street. Uh, this is the last contract between Van Ness and uh, DeBose Avenue. Uh, this is, uh, uh, took four tries to get this contract going. Every time uh, it was about to be awarded, something came up. But they finally got it done. And this is a week before opening day. And that's Los Angeles PCC. Geneva Yard was also rebuilt. <coughs> Market Street Railway would hold mini festivals on holidays, like uh, this two cars on Church Street on the J Line, a uh, car going out the N Judah Line. Uh, this was a one time only event. This is called the Z Line. It went all the way from Transbay Terminal to the zoo via the F. Uh, the tracks that were still in use, uh, the J line, the new J extension, which had opened up only two months prior uh, to Labor Day 1991, and uh, the K and L out to the zoo and back. A premium fare of five dollars was charged. Uh, th three cars once an hour. It was a great, great success. And then in 1992, we had. A hundred years of electric electric tracks in San Francisco. This was an opportunity to recreate some of the roar of the four with Market Street Railway and Muni cars running side by side, inbound and outbound. Of course, we only had two tracks, so we ran them inbound. Mm. Mm. Uh, Can you read this quickly enough? Yes. Okay. Let, let me know if I can go. All right. So we got 14 used PCCs from Philadelphia. This is 2122, which became Muni 1055, passing the old Reading Terminal. And here we are testing out one of the Philadelphia cars on at West Portal and on the L line. Uh, and an interesting story, uh, which is in the book, uh, I was operating the car. We got up to 15th and Taravel and an old lady tried to board. So I, and I opened up the door and I said, I'm sorry, ma'am, we're not in service. We're visiting from Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so she went back to the curb and waited for the next car. Uh, and here's the uh, reconstruction in Mars and New Knudsen. And the first car arrives in 
not in muni colors, not in uh, orange and cream, which is a, what the fleet was like that, but in Philadelphia car colors. This, why was that? Because uh, it was chosen to represent other cities that ran PCCs <coughs> on Muni's new fleet. So Philadelphia 1055 has uh, uh, the old familiar colors of uh, uh, PTC in early SEPTA days. And they're towed off by car 130, which uh, was saved from uh, the scrap heap be by being a wrecker. And this is what it was doing while it was in non-revenue service. Mm. Yes. And the last three came, Boston in the back, Los Angeles in the middle, and Brooklyn in, in, uh, at the, in the front. Last three came on January 19th, 94. And the three trailers went over to get the three torpedoes, like 1007, and take them to back to uh, Hornell, New York, to be re rebuilt. Okay, and when it came back, it came looking like this, uh, with a with a brand new Breda in the background, <coughs> same colors. Uh, this scheme didn't last very long. Uh, and the cars did uh, uh, several weeks and months even of uh, burn-in. Uh, Pacific Electric in the back, Chicago in the uh, in the front, Chicago in the back. Uh, this is the original Newark paint scheme, which has had a gray that was too light, and. It, at 11th and Market, uh, Judah and 10th Avenue. Uh, by the way, you never saw Brooklyn PCCs looking that good. Yeah, really. <laughs> uh, uh, then, uh, in the spring and summer of 1995, Muni decided to uh, let passengers ride these cars for free on the outer ends of the N and the J line. So here here are the two uh, Muni livery cars at Ocean Beach on the N line. Going through the Bernal Cut Louisville car, uh, June and 16th Avenue, typical Sunset District fog. Uh, at the at Ocean Beach again. And then uh, these next shots are from the original line uh, from 1995 to 2000. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the line quickly found its way into the hearts and minds of the populace and muni riders. Even though the line opened, uh, things were still in a temporary status, such as the wooden railings on the handicap ramp at, ramp at Third Market. And looking down from the lookout bar, um, you can see Mission Dolores. Uh, uh, well, it's it's going to take a minute for my pointer. That's Mission Dolores over there and a great location to shoot streetcars. Uh, Kansas City car, 17th Noe. This is looking down from the now demolished Central Freeway. Uh, it took, took me a little bit of uh, sleight of hand to get this shot. Uh, on the top, top deck, uh, they had the, there were these pockets uh, alongside the east side of uh, roadway uh, so you could look along Market Street. So I went into one of those pockets in heavy traffic, uh, opened up, propped up the hood of the car, uh, and then uh, uh, started wringing my hands in desperation. Oh no, what am I going to do? 
and then the cars came. I took my picture, dropped the hood, worked my way back into traffic. <laughs> and then, okay, here's a shot from, uh, from uh, the top of Twin Peaks using a 400 millimeter cam uh, lens. And at the bo very bottom of this, why is this working again? At the very bottom, you can see the Kansas City car and the newer car waiting to turn onto Noe Street. <coughs> uh, fish eye view at the 17th and Castro, Castro Theater on the right is very famous. It's still a one, one screen movie house and they mostly do revival uh, films. Uh, Transbay Terminal. Yes. Uh, another view of the Transbay Terminal. Illinois Terminal was one of the three paint schemes represented by the torpe t torpedoes because that's what they had in uh, the line that went from St. Louis over to Granite City in Illinois. Uh, and Market Street Railway would clean the cars at the end of uh, uh, the line that it's a late art Michelle polishing the windows. Uh, they, they do a great job of keeping the cars clean, and believe me, the operators appreciate it. Okay, first non-PCC to go in service was Milan, 1834. This is a car we got for the trolley festival in 1984, and one, one day I decided to take it out for the second half of my run and uh, first I was ordered to take it back and then uh, the, my, my boss relented and later that would be a wise decision on his part because uh, um, uh, he could see that I could keep the schedule with the Milan car. And there it is, Christmas time. <coughs> yeah, there was one instance where we had on Sunday we had 15 men service with four cars. <coughs> the other three cars were green, so I decided to bring out the orange car for to break up the monotony. Yeah. Okay, here we are. Uh, this inscription is on every Milan Peter Witt. Uh, basically, uh, it says "Non palate agitatori." You know what that means. Uh, and a Okay, non deve essere distratto dall'almanovra. Okay, basically that translates to the Muni uh, disclaimer, information gladly given, but safety requires avoiding un unnecessary conversation. Okay, here, here we are at Church and Market. This was the first time since 1950 that two streetcar lines crossed each other uh, when the F line crossed the J line at uh, Church and Market. Okay, here we have uh, uh, Los Angeles car passing under the hated Central Freeway, double deck at this time, uh, passing among the palms, Cincinnati car, and then two torpedoes, 1007 on the left uh, in Breda colors, 1015 on the right with the, uh, uh, in Illinois Terminal. And all three torpedoes. This is a later paint scheme for 1007 uh, in uh, Philadelphia red arrow, red arrow colors. Um, the cars behind are Illinois Terminal and Muni Blue and Gold from 1939. The, though that represents what uh, the cars were actually built in 1939, which Muni no longer has. Okay. And 1704 uh, St. Louis uh, numbered car uh, was brought out on trippers. Uh, it's bas basically it was a non-accessible car. So that's why it could run all day long. <coughs> and uh, about a month after the F line started, uh, 
there was a need to shut the subway down after 10 o'clock for an installation of a new signaling system. And so uh, the other forward lines became bus, but the J line stayed PCC. And 1057 is signed for the J church. Uh, and finally, one of the Muni Iron Monsters got out. Uh, this is First Market. Uh, Melbourne 496 and um, and here we have the, uh, the first new in introduced car New Orleans 952 uh, came all the way from New Orleans rebuilt at Carrollton shops uh, and big celebration was held to introduce the car to the public. At the same time, a new production of ten, uh, Tennessee Williams streetcar named Desire was opening up, so the timing was perfect. That's Mayor William <coughs> Brown over here. And here we have 952 passing CTA 1058 in its original uh, Muni livery. Okay. Mm. So, um, Transbay Terminal is losing its luster as a tr uh, transit terminal. So, uh, the tracks that this uh, uh, trolley festival car was on are pretty worn out. Yeah, they had not been replaced since 1939. That's a car from Oporto, Portugal. Uh, and uh, here we have an inspector testing out the, the switch points which were prone to move underneath the car. So they had to use uh, metal plugs to keep them in place. And the last night, March 3rd, 2000, um, I actually made it a point to put 1051, the Muni Green and Green car, as the last regular service car to run to the Transbay Terminal. And the two other cars, 1010 and 130, were chartered by a group called the Northern California Railroad Club. So that's uh, there were a few times when the Transbay Terminal Loop was still used, such as this last time on August 8th, nine, uh, 2000. Uh, and then thereafter, the tracks were immediately torn up. And the terminal itself was demolished in 2010. All right, now, we're, now we got come to the next phase of the F-Line, going to Fisherman's Wharf. Uh, Construct, uh, um, construction started, or the line started on March 4th, 2000. Uh, and construction actually began in 1996. A loop at Pier 39. Um, trackway being put in on uh, Jefferson Street. Uh, using fake Bay Belgian block as paving stones. Uh, by the way, this was a diamond lane. Uh, if you were an auto driver, you were in peril. And Jefferson near Jones. Uh, finished uh, track and they put up the bracket arms which have ornate curly cues on them. Uh, and on uh, the Embarcadero they have uh, stones embedded in the concrete to deter motorists. The track was laid out like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. Don, this is called Don Chi Way. 
and opening day March 4, 2000, uh, Baltimore car approaching Sansom Street outbound. And a huge crowd is on the car uh, getting off at Fisherman's Wharf. Uh, the crowds were so big that they had to put uh, the Melbourne car in service at following a special charter. And the next day, uh, wiser heads prevailed. Uh, the torpedoes being four feet longer could hold 25% more people. Uh, this is uh, uh, the Chicago car. You can see that the palm fronds are just beginning to sprout. Uh, it's also a high, di high dynamic range image. Um, so now we come to why I'm, my nickname is Milan Tram. Okay, Muni got 10 of these. Uh, 1859 was one that came to San Francisco. This is in Milan. Uh, being loaded to go over to uh, the port of Genoa. Uh, when here they were unloaded at Pier 80. And 1859 again was the first one to arrive at Metro Yard. Can everybody hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and they were worked on in Metro Center. And 1793 was the first one to enter service. This is Pier 39. You can see the, the Bay Bridge in the background. Uh, a meet between 1793 and the original Milan car, 1834, and near the ferry building, 1859 again, hmm. oh, night at the wharf. Uh, four, four Milans gathered uh, near the ferry building. <coughs> uh, and line up at Jones and Beach. 1811 is painted original <coughs> Milan yellow and white, 1928 colors. And leaving uh, the terminal 1807 was the last one to go in service. Another high dynamic range image. Peter? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? I yeah. interrupt the show. Yeah. Is it true that they're not allowed to run at night anymore because the people complain about the noise? Uh, for a while, yes. But uh, not anymore. Uh, since they now come out of Metro East, uh, they can go anywhere, anytime. Thank you. Yeah. And here's the Brooklyn car, car passing uh, Pier 7 and the Transamerica Pyramid. Uh, 1061, the Pacific Electric, and 1052, uh, the Los Angeles car at Broadway. Uh, 1058, again, in its originally original for Muni paint scheme of uh, the last CTA scheme, uh, passing Green Street and the Coit and Coy Tower. Uh, here we are at uh, Broadway, looking north, and the Milan car is approaching. Kansas City, uh, Green Street. Uh, 1061 in the Melbourne Fisherman's Wharf. Uh, that's Coit Tower up here in the Transamerica Pyramid. Uh, by the way, that's a San Francisco landmark since 1972. 
Oh yeah, this one uh, was a ser serendipitous shot. Um, uh, I'd nickname it Sky of Blue, Sea of Green, and Cream, uh, after a Beatles song. <coughs> And typical problem on the F line, we all have already overcrowded 1807 and a huge crowd still trying to get on board. Uh, they, they could run three minute service if they had enough <coughs> operators and they would still be overcrowded. Uh, nicely designed shelters, which are unique to the F line by the way. And some of the platforms have uh, poetry embedded in uh, bronze in the pavement. Uh, that's, by the way, that's typical of just about every new system. They introduce artwork into the uh, light rail or streetcar line. Uh, that's anywhere in America now. Okay, here's a view from uh, what used to be one market plaza uh, uh, that they had, I could go right up to the seventh floor and take a shot looking this way. You can't do that anymore after, uh, after uh, 2001. Uh, same, same uh, this was taken I think from the Hotel Vitale. Looking north from the Vitale. This is Justin Herman Park. Uh, rounding the corner at Don Chi Way and Stewart Street. Uh, looking north on Stewart towards Market. Um, what's interesting about this picture is the trolley coach, 5148 was one of the last three uh, uh, to run in San Fran of the flyers that were built in 1976 to run in San Francisco. And it's today it's <coughs> now at the uh, <coughs> Seashore Trolley Museum. Looking northeast from uh, one market plaza, the ferry boat was where Walter Lander had its offices for a while. Uh, a, the ferry boat's called the Peralta. I think is that, that may, I may be wrong on that, John. I, when I visited them <coughs> before he did the Muni paint scheme, they yeah. was in the building he's in now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Which is in the Levi Plaza area. Oh, okay. Okay, this is a view looking right. north from Coit Tower, Telegraph Hill. Uh, Pier 39 pedestrian bridge. Uh, the reason they're lined up on this day is because uh, of uh, uh, it was Fleet Week. And U.S. Navy took over uh, Fisherman's Wharf, so all the cars were turning back at Pier 39. And here we are looking from the northwest corner of the garage at Pier 39. Uh, and there's the Golden Gate Bridge shrouded in fog. Marin, the Marin headlands are over here. The Pier 41 was the car float for freight cars to go over to Marin County. And here we have the boat among other boats. And this is a view looking south uh, north from uh, Jones and Filbert on Russian Hill. Uh, <coughs> ten ten Sunday Eternal. The <coughs> ship here is the Jeremiah O'Brien, which was the last Liberty ship and actually went over to Normandy in 1994 to celebrate uh, um, V, what is it, V D Day? V Day. V Day. V Day. Yeah. Uh, 
looking from the southwest corner of uh, the garage. This is uh, uh, Be Beach and Mason Street. There's Ghirardelli Square. Uh, Fort Mason, which eventually F-line or E-line cars will burrow through and go to the other side uh, of Fort Mason. Uh, this is looking from the pedestrian bridge south, uh, Koi Tower and t uh, Transamerica Pyramid. And a uh, late twilight shot of uh, along the Embarcadero with 1059 and 1818 exchanging passengers. Uh, 1059 will then back across and then head outbound towards Castro, while 1818 will go to the wharf and then pull in. Uh, and uh, during my early career on the F line, uh, people came came up, operators came up asking me, when can I get trained on these vintage cars? When can I get trained on these vintage cars? Well, uh, the opening of the wharf line uh, enabled Muni to train a lot more people to run them so they could provide seven-day service. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not being done right now. Anyway, here they are lined up uh, to celebrate the introduction of Brussels 10, uh, 7037 to the fleet. Um, some Barcado and Mission. Uh, this is March 5th, 2000. Uh, Muni realized it needed more cars to provide service, so car one went down to help out. And uh, car one, uh, in case you don't know, was Muni's very first streetcar built in 1912. Uh, and, you know, it's the flagship of the fleet. Uh, so, and also uh, my favorite car to operate. <coughs> Approaching Bay Street inbound, uh, Jones and Beach, with the Melbourne at the Ferry Building. And this is taken uh, in 2011. Uh, car one was on its first real outing in test mode uh, after rebuilding it by Brookville and Coit Tower. Uh, car 130, a B-type built in 1914, leaving uh, Jones and Beach. Uh, Peter, and of course, yes. Peter, you may want to mention that the beauty of that car is it's never been rebuilt. It's uh, like it's, it's like 1912. Well, actually, it's it's, it's it's never really never been retired. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was a gentleman responsible for that, and he died. Like yeah, he Charles died. Smallwood. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was at a funeral, right? Funeral yeah. Presenting? He he hid it from the prying views of management. One <laughs> 162 is a nice car, but it looks like a rebuilt streetcar. This is the genuine article. Mm -hmm. They're both the same class. They were both built at the same time. <coughs> anyway, uh, um, I make it a point to try different angles of shooting. This is I bent down on my hands and knees, well knees, to to take this shot. Here it is in uh, its erstwhile work car service, towing 952 off the truck. And this was another sur sur serendipitous <laughs> shot. I'm walking along the Embarcadero, uh, going going to do a bunch of sh uh, shooting. And as I'm approaching uh, Mission Street, here comes 130 and stops. So it, this was a grab shoot. Uh, the Aldifrit building uh, here was uh, built in 1888, and it survived the earthquake and fire uh, because the uh, proprietor handed out kegs of whiskey to the army uh, people who were going to blow it up. 
I kid you not. That's the way they did things in those days. Uh, 130 and 1010 at the ferry, ferries. Uh, 130 uh, about to go to the wharf. It knows it says beach on it. Well, uh, that was as close as we could get to uh, 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 wharf. And beach was a terminal. Uh, and Pete, a bunch of girls enjoying the ride, sitting on the drop-down bench. Isn't that the real name of Metro East now, Cameron Beach Yard? No, oh. Me, uh, Cameron Beach Yard is Geneva Yard. Oh, okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, Washington Street. Uh, here's 130 and 162 together. 162 uh, uh, went into service in 2008, and it actually is working the E line in this picture. Um, okay, then we have uh, here is it's going to the wharf. At Pier 39, he's leaving Pier 39, and the view from Don, uh, the uh, Hotel Vitale. At the time I uh, was staying there, it was 2.99 a night. Now it's 4.99 a night. You don't have a corner suite in perpetuity. What? You don't have a corner suite in perpetuity there? Are you kidding? Okay, now we have uh, the black boat, boat tram and people enjoying the open top car. It's the most popular uh, vintage car in the fleet. A Melbourne car taken at Christmas time. Uh, at Christmas, Market Street Railway puts wreaths on just about all the cars. Uh, now, any, does anybody notice anything unusual about this picture? Yeah. What? Hmm? Nobody at the controls. <laughs> well, no. There's no brake handle. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yeah. They got the, the computer thing. Well, well, uh, I did. I did a little tweaking. Mm. When when I actually shot the picture, the Melbourne car was uh, very very uh, 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 unvisible. So I jacked up the contrast there around that around the Melbourne car. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, Melbourne and New Orleans passing on Stewart Street. New Orleans car approaching Ferry Plaza. Pier 39. Heading outbound towards uh, uh, Ferry Building with the Bay Bridge in the background. And the interior, taking Christmas Day. That's New Orleans car, right? Yeah. And this is an 1895 car um, uh, built for the first Market Street Railway. Uh, and it's the oldest uh, existing car and public transit service in, in America. And this is taken uh, November 2014 on Heritage Weekend and another shot, High Dynamic Range, rounding the uh, corner at Embarcadero Mission. 
Uh, Brussels PCC 737 uh, was painted in Zurich colors. Because uh, Zurich is uh, one of San Francisco's sister cities. Uh, and that went into service in 2006 or 7. Oh, we go now. We go back to Market Street. Now, uh, 2006 uh, Muni uh, added more PCCs. Uh, and which came from Newark City Subway, um, which closed stopped operating PCCs in August of 2001. Um, <coughs> uh, has everybody read this? Yes. Okay. All right, so here's car 21, which became Muni 1077 at Branch Brook Park. And they, we tested out car 14 in 2002. Uh, New Jersey Transit would have a cow if they saw this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was um, tested to set up specs for the rebuilding. 1080 was the first rebuilt car and it's sitting in front of New Jersey Transit 14. And here's what New Jersey Transit 14 became, uh, Newark uh, 1070, in a re real Newark colors now. Still has the, uh, 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 well, you can't really see them in this picture, but the red slipper uh, trucks. <coughs> Washington, D.C. 1076. Uh, here's a pair of maroon bells, uh, Toronto 1074 on the left and Philadelphia Red Arrow 1007 on the right. Uh, this is uh, Milan 1811 painted in 1928 yellow and white passing the um, uh, San Francisco Railway Museum which is run by Market Street Railway. Uh, and um, this is a, uh, was purposely made to look like an antique photograph. <coughs> Melbourne Carn 1076 on Stewart Street. 1055 on Stewart Street. The that's Embarcadero <coughs> 4, which every Christmas time. Barcadero Center lights the outlines of its buildings. San Diego 1078, turning the corner onto Market Street. The building behind it is the original Southern Pacific Railroad headquarters. Uh, 162, now heading outbound, as is Chicago 1058, now painted in uh, 1947 Chicago colors, uh, or, or they called it the Green Hornet livery. Uh, Milan 1818 was painted two-tone green, uh, which Milan cars ran uh, wore from the 1930s to the 70s, uh, apparently on orders of Mussolini, uh, allegedly. Uh, the dinky passing the cable car, uh, California Street turn turn around. Oh. Yeah. Ten fifty uh, in Muni Wings is passing this uh, shrubbery, and this is ra rather interesting. Two thousand three 
uh, federal government <coughs> decided to uh, terror terrorist proof um, many of its filled buildings like the the uh, uh, Federal Reserve Bank so they built enormous flower pots and put trees or shrubs in them mm. so far it's worked yeah. um, so Christmas time Los Angeles Melbourne and Muni blue and gold. Uh, to put it in perspective, this is 1934 after the general strike. Mm -hmm. First market, that was the same location as this one. Uh, the Brussels. Brussels car is passing the Crown Zellerback building. The first modern high-rise in San Francisco, 1959. Here's the Palace Hotel, uh, which survived the earthquake in 1906. Uh, legend has it that, uh, uh, who was who that famous singer of that era? Uh, Caruso. Hmm? Caruso. He, he, uh, uh, was staying there and he was so rattled by the earthquake that he vowed never to come back to San Francisco again. <laughs> uh, incidentally, you can't take this picture anymore. Uh, like, like most places, they've blocked it off to non-workers. Uh, shrubbery of Gardsey uh, Island platforms on Market Street. Uh, okay, this is the Kansas City car at Third Market. Here you have the re recently restored Chronicle building. Here's the Hobart building, and uh, uh, th this intersection was known as Newspaper Row. Uh, Cleveland 1075 passing the uh, Union <coughs> Trust Bank building, which is now Wells Fargo. 1040, last PCC built in America, uh, heading inbound, and Dallas 1009. Uh, later, later I'm going to show you some interesting shots of 1009. Okay, here's 1818 at Fourth and Market. This is the only place where there are steam vents in the uh, coming out of the streets. 1070 heading inbound. Car one also heading inbound. It's five in the morning. Uh, car one was going down to Don Chi Way to kick off uh, Muni's hundredth anniversary in two, 2012. Washington 10, 1076. Milan 1895 passing the green terracotta Palomar building, built in 1915. Detroit, 1079, passing, uh, approaching Powell Street. And Market Street Railway, 1011. This was a fantasy paint scheme. Market Street Railway wanted to get some streamliners, but they couldn't afford to. So, but uh, Market Street Railway members voted to uh, include this paint scheme in the rebuilt torpedoes. <coughs> uh, at the time this was taken in 2009, these were the new kids on the block. 1807 had just been painted yellow and white, and 1058 in. Uh, 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 Green Hornet livery. 1818 at Christmas time. Uh, Howdy Plaza. Nordstrom's is behind uh, the PCC. 1807 at Market Mason. 
1859 at Jones and Market, that's the Hibernia Bank, where another banking temple was now a police station. And the boat car approaching 7th Street was City Hall and an open air farmer's market uh, across the road. And UN Plaza with a seagull uh, standing sentry <coughs> as 1058 goes by. Did the BCA say you operate every single one of those cars? I, just about. I, I never got to run the Brussels car. No, that, that went into service uh, after I retired. Boston 1059 passing UN Plaza. Brussels car passing the Orpheum Theater at 8th Market. 1811 and 1807 together. And one of, uh, Do you control the power with the foot pedal or with a uh, hand? hand uh, these are hand pedal. Are they all that way? The old Milans are like that. The uh, so so are, uh, so are, so are every non PC seats. Uh, Pacific Electric just coming out of the Bard Station at Civic Center. So rich colleges. <coughs> Um, this is a shot I got from my friend Matt Lee, works at SFMTA. I, I ordered him to take a picture of re a red and a green car together for Christmas time. <coughs> Cleveland 1075 at 8th and Market. This is a Hotel Whitcomb. Uh, dates back to after the earthquake. Uh, Orpheum Theater lit up at night, and the uh, view from the boat car, fisheye view. Looking down from the Whitcomb Hotel, um, Ninth and Market, this Fox Plaza uh, replaced the old Fox Theater. Uh, 1963 and ever since it got built uh, you have a wind tunnel at uh, 10th and Market. Mm -hmm. uh, 9th and Market again, DC Washington DC yeah. and Kansas yeah. City, Beautiful. HDR image and yeah. Old Glory flies at 10th and Market or 9th and Market Peter? Yeah. Is the F line the busiest surface line in the movie? In the no. no. Oh, no. That honor goes to the 38 Geary. Okay. Or, yeah. or 14 Mission. Okay, 10th and Market, Birmingham, 1077, former New Jersey Transit 21, uh, City Hall in the background. Uh, Birmingham again approaching Van Ness. Uh, here, here you can see the tracks going on off into 11th Street. Um, a rainy day at Market Van Ness. Uh, 1010 and 130 with 130 in the 11th Street Y. That's Muni's <coughs> world headquarters there. <coughs> yes, and. Yes, uh, or I should say Muni hindquarters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, if you work for them, yeah, that's how you feel yeah. about it. Yeah. Uh, uh, sorry, John. I know you've no, worked that's there. <laughs> anyway, here's a view from Muni headquarters. Um, uh, 1051 seems to love to go through weeds. Flowers. <coughs> One thirty at Goff and Market. Uh, Ten seventy two Mexico City, also at Goff and Market. And 
fish eye view from inside of Milan or um, <coughs> Detroit 1079. Uh, 1062 is approaching Valencia. Um, this picture I put in because it shows a flaw in the design of the F line. Uh, uh, when, when I thought it would be built, I thought the line would hug the left side uh, and then uh, have a, at Franklin Street where lots of cars turn left on a, on a signalized intersection, then it would be F, the F line turn to proceed. But no, uh, c coming down the hill, the uh, line has to move to the right, and the cars that come off Guerrero Street have to move over here. And very often there are conflicts, like someone tries to pass, pass the PCC on the right and move over to the left, but suddenly he has to stop. And they, usually that's an accident report. Uh, Octavia Boulevard, which replaced the double-deck freeway that you saw earlier. Um, this is the uh, Fallon Building uh, at Octavia, uh, part of the um, San Francisco Gay, Lesbian, and Transen Transgender Center. Don't don't ask me to say that three times in a row. Yeah. Not fast either. Okay. Here, this is a 1996 six shot showing the double deck uh, central freeway. Uh, in 1997, they lopped off the top deck. So this is a 2002 picture. And now it's all gone. And now you can see all the way down Market Street. At Lago this is Laguna Street. Uh, uh, it's a Brooklyn car approaching Mark and the Bose. Okay, here's Milan 1811. They're having an open house at inside Mint Yard over here. Uh, you have the Dinky 578S on the left and the Brussels car on the right. Uh, October 3rd, 2006, I believe. And there, here we have car 162 arriving from Orange Empire Railway Museum in on July 10, 2003. Uh, it was carried up north on the trailer, all the way from the Orange Empire Museum. Muni uh, bought this car from Orange Empire, uh, and the negotiations were so hush-hush that nobody knew about it, except a very few people. Anyway. The, car, the car was donated to Orange Empire in 1959, understand. They had to pay 75000 to get it back. Well, it was well worth it. Wow. And, and it, they found that three of the four motors were still good. Oh, wow. Yeah. And now, so, so a few <coughs> days later, I, I was running t uh, 130, and we had a minor maintenance problem, so I decided to park it right next to uh, uh, 162. The late motorman, Jack Smith, uh, chuckled and said, ah, oh, uh, the stories they told and the tales, they, uh, they had much to talk yeah, about. That's right. That's right. <laughs> a long time. Yeah. yeah. A long time. <laughs> and uh, this is yeah. Market Street Railway 798 on the right. Uh, it will be restored. So will Johnstown 351 on the left. I don't know about the Russian car. Uh, uh, this, this is a very rather recent shot, I think 2009. Is that the mint up there? Yeah, yeah that's the U.S. mint. Okay. Is it mint condition? 
Okay, here we are looking down Buchanan Street uh, as 1055 is about to cross Dolores, and here you can see Mission Dolores. And passing the Spanish American Monument at the uh, top of Dolores Street with the mint in the background. Uh, there's the uh, monument again, 1057 heading inbound. Uh, looking, looking from Dolores Street, uh, that's Twin Peaks in the background. Uh, uh, basically, you can go anywhere on the F line and get fantastic views. That's that's how how good and aesthetic it is to me. Here we are looking eastward from <coughs> Third Street. Uh, the upper market merchants have put uh, bunting around the tree trunks uh, for Christmas time. Oh, uh, i got to go back. Uh, S&C Ford has been replaced by this uh, apartment condo complex, which has Whole Foods in it. As well, okay. a rainy night in, in Georgia. I mean San Francisco, 1807. But you never know it because you can't see the number. Okay, here we are. Uh, 1051 has just crossed in front of an inbound J line, Breda. I mentioned again that this is the first time two. Streetcar lines in San Francisco crossed each other since 1950. Mm -hmm. And here we have 1079 on a burn in run, about to make the turn onto Market Street, and 1818 will follow it or proceed it. 1818 still in orange in this picture. New Orleans is making the 952 is making the turn, as is 1818, which magically has suddenly turned green. Uh, and here, two Milanos are about to be bisected by a Breda, uh, and you can see PCC 1055 at the top of the grade. Here we are, uh, outbound. 1009 Dallas and 1011 Market Street Railway. Uh, this is taken May 5th, 2014. Toronto, 1074. Notice the rebuilt intersection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Okay, there, there's the unrebuilt <coughs> intersection and the rebuilt one. That's a rather recent job. Mm -hmm. That was done in connection with the Church and DeBose rebuild, <coughs> which was huge. It was fi a five five day project. Mm -hmm. uh, Ten fifty eight inbound. Oh, the, what is that? Mercury green and Cro Croydon cream and that swamp holly orange belt rail livery looked nice. <laughs> Everybody there I can see remember. That. There I have to remember. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and F. Yeah. Yes, Mr. DeGroote. Uh, 1051 passing the Swedish American Hall. 1818 at Mark and Sanchez, 15th Street. 1010 in. <coughs> 1050 with a fisheye view and Beck's Motor Lodge behind a uh, place I've stayed at many times, uh, and for good reason. Here we have uh, 1893 approaching Sanchez and Minneapolis 1071 making the turn. 1040 passing Beck's Motor Lodge. 
1073 El Paso, uh, HDR image, high dynamic range, taken from the uh, Bex Motor Lodge. Now, this is a shot showing 1814 uh, before it got wrecked. Um, and I, I would have to say that these palm trees are in dire need of a trim. Okay, three PCCs lined up to make the turn onto Noe Street at six Markin 16th Street. You have 1051 in the lead, 1060 in the middle, 1060 is Philadelphia cream cheese, and uh, 1059 brings up the rear. And it's rather unusual to see two vintage cars making the turn at the same time here. But uh, 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 the opportunity presented itself because um, I was training somebody on car one. So I got out, took the picture of 130 and a one starting to make the turn. And then I got back on. I, I was thoroughly entrusted with my trainee. Yeah. Washington, D.C., 1076 with the Lookout Bar, which is a great location uh, for viewing streetcars. Uh, here we have two Los Angeles cars, LA Railway 1052 inbound, and Los Angeles <coughs> Transit Lines Fruit Salad 1080, uh, uh, about to turn onto Noe. Uh, this is Mission Dolores in the background here. Mm. Which one was your favorite? Of which? Of all of them. What wasn't a PCC. Okay. Uh, however, of the PCCs that I operated, 1007 was my favorite. Okay, here we have 162 making the turn and 1818 about to head inbound. And a fisheye view, two Milanos. Uh, carp. Carp. <laughs> oh, and then we have two modes of transportation in play here. 1815 is down here, and the Blue Angels are up there. Oh, yeah, one of these holes. Fly And uh, Miss Dolores is in the picture, too. So, we have everything. Okay. Inbound, this new condo building has just replaced an open. Uh, uh, an open lot which had been there ever since Trinity Methodist Church burned down. Uh, and finally they built something here. Uh, there's Mission Dolores in the background. How much is the rent? 1006 uh, hang inbound. 1811. <coughs> oh, uh, I. What's nice about this shot is that the street light frames the hill. Mm. Perfect. Mm. Okay. Okay, 1811, fish eye view, same intersection. Mexico City, 1072, approaching Noe Street, 16th Street. And this was a 1995 shot. Uh, this was a posed picture. Uh, uh, one of my buddies who was a uh, meeting <coughs> manager at the time decided he wanted to take out uh, a Breda out to part of the F line. Well, Bredas do not normally run here. But uh, the overhead's pantograph compatible, so um, he did it. But, uh, and meanwhile, Cleveland at 1075, 
seven, uh, this is Noe and 17th Street. The track to the right will head to Castor Street. The track to the left is for pulling cars. This, this shot made uh, an MSR calendar. 1076 approaching Castro. Uh, 1077 is following 1075, Birmingham and Cleveland. Now here we have 1077 on the left and 1072 on the right, different treatments of the same colors. And you can look all the way down set east on 17th Street to uh, the Potrero District. 1078 through the handicap ramp bars at Castro. 1009, 1073, and 72. Uh, here we have 1818 on a charter uh, posing on the track that would, if it were in service, take streetcars across the street and into the Twin Peaks Tunnel. Uh, a fish eye view at Castle Street. 10.08 at night. Uh, here, uh, what they did was they converted the uh, terminal to a pedestrian plaza uh, in 2009, and here's a woodwind quintet playing at the uh, uh, in the plaza, uh, just about the time it opened. Uh, there's a Castro Theater uh, again. Uh, inside Orphan Andy's highly recommended restaurant. Mm. Uh, and huge, the managers are huge supporters of the F line. Mm. Okay, here's, here's the uh, original configuration with the temporary barriers, which could be rolled out of the way if LRVs have to cross here. <coughs> Uh, I'm uh, probably not never going to happen, but it could. Uh, this is a 2009, and the more permanent barriers and planters are are these here. And a twilight shot of Louisville 1062 leaving. Uh, this is looking from across uh, Casa Street. You have uh, Birmingham 7, 1077 has just left, and 1811 has taken its place at the terminal. 1078, this shows uh, what it looked like before um, the, the plaza was created, uh, which, by the way, because it was created, it eliminated one major source of accidents on the uh, F line. Uh, motorists would often get caught by the left rear fenders of uh, F line streetcars as they went around the turn. Mm -hmm. Isn't that Chevron station still there? Oh, yeah. With the obnoxious gas price? Yes. <laughs> uh, 1060 with the uh, rainbow flag flying and the fog still in. And 10.58 at night, same location. All right, so uh, here are the before and after scenes of the torpedoes. And 10.40, uh, here's 10.08 and 10.40 at uh, Metro East in 2010. Uh, uh, here's what 1008 looks like now. 
and here's again mark and forth that uh, 1040 this is what it looks like now they they restored the uh, uh, what do they call the dash lights uh, to original configuration and also the interior really yes. only wanted to get the, the original interior yes they did just beautiful okay here's 1009 and 1011 before they went east uh, now the story about these were they were originally supposed to be rebuilt in 1994 uh, but a week before they were going to go east uh, some transients set them on fire so in in their place 1007 and 1010 went <coughs> so anyway here's 1009 at Brookville and 1006 on the left and at Casa Street the Chevron station mm -hmm. and here's 1011 uh, September 15 September 5th 2013 at Brookville just about to go west and I just happened to get there on the right at the right time was being towed into the paint shop and at Mission and Embarcadero uh, last November and uh, all PCCs not just torpedoes carry these car cards And now we go back to the wharf. I'm not going to talk very much unless I have to, because it's getting so. It took only about quarter of nine. Mm. All right. This is April 5th, 2012, the kickoff of uh, Muni's hundredth anniversary. Mm. Peter. Uh, yeah. While you have that up there, uh, Phil had a question about the lifeguard fenders. Yes. Were, did it always wear those? Yeah. From 62 onward? Yes. Yeah, but, but the question is, did they always use them? No. <coughs> I, I didn't think so. Yeah. Mm. Um, well, I did. I, as a matter of fact, I was a stickler for it. Mm. Uh, and and I had an accident uh, which because the fenders were down saved lives it was a very very it was like th I was going three miles an hour and a woman backed into backed into it a pedestrian now these on the rest of the cars were gone by about 1948 or 49 right they were replaced by uh, um, um, lifeguards. Lifeguards, uh, which they got from the key system cars. Uh, fish eye view, uh, Milan and 1010. Uh, now this is from the inside of the San Francisco Railway Museum. This was a Wiley birdcage traffic signal. Uh, a signal that was unique to San Francisco. It had go and stop. And and it made a chime when it changed. Looking east, looking west. In 40, uh, Cleveland and El Paso uh, HDR image 1807 at night or early morning uh, boat car uh, 228 uh, at the uh, ferry building on another high dynamic range image um, El Paso 1073 making the turn uh, and at this time, PCCs were still going out to Geneva Yard. This car is 17th and nowhere <coughs> was the last stop 
on his head sign. This, the Bay Bridge <coughs> has dancing lights on it, uh, which was started in March of 2013. Ten fifty-eight and the dancing lights. Nine fifty-two at Christmas time. One sixty-two, looking southeastward towards Oakland and the Bay Bridge. Uh, Eighteen eleven was decorated for the making of the uh, of a, of a movie. Uh, called the, the five-year engagement. Mm -hmm. 1807 and 162. Um, car on the left is Melbourne W6916, which uh, we got in 2009, but as because of uh, its wheels were worn out, we haven't been able to put new wheels on it, so it hasn't been in service yet. And um, um, <coughs> okay, this are these are the two boats of Muni. 233 just came to Muni uh, in 2013. Uh, it's not yet serviceable. Or is it, John? I don't know. It was in the body shop. The, the entire flooring was rotted out. Again? No, this was, uh, what, a year and a half ago. Oh, yeah. And I don't know what condition oh, it, it's in They now. finished the flooring. Mm -hmm. uh, and 228 on the right. Uh, car one and an in interloper. <laughs> uh, this this is something I had never seen. They uh, the, um, maintenance people brought a Breda up to a Barcadero mission. For who knows why? Who cares? They took an official as war, didn't they? No, they didn't. I thought one of them made it out there. Um, one of them did. I can yeah. assure you. Okay. <laughs> Looking down side of the Birmingham car. And this is a shot uh, taken by Kevin Sheridan, who's a great photographer, uh, of what happens when the J line is shut down for rebuilding. Uh, they Muni couldn't use uh, the normal pull in route for uh, F line cars. So they stashed them down here over the weekend, um, uh, all in a row. Anyway, back to uh, Barcadero Mission, 1070. Boat car looking westward on Mission Street. 10 oh, I think this is 10.06. Yeah. Uh, Minneapolis, 10.71. And this is the Detroit 1079 taken just after the Giants beat them in the World Series. Mm -hmm. 2012. Boat car in 1009. Now this is a uh, day of, uh, as you know, San Francisco gets a lot of fog but doesn't get this foggy, usually. January 29, 2003, it was so foggy, <coughs> uh, uh, 100, 100 feet away, I couldn't see the tower of the ferry building. Moving down from the Vitali to a pair of Ohio cars, Cleveland and Cincinnati. Uh, HDR image of uh, uh, 1071 heading towards the ferry building to pick up some people. In the El Paso car uh, of Malone.
lawn car at night or twilight. Um, 1076, uh, 1015 heading outbound also at night, 162 looking, uh, heading inbound looking from the Vitale with a 300 millimeter lens uh, peeking through the palm fronds. Okay, uh, the Embarcadero roadway heading southward is separated from the plaza by these round concrete balls. Mm. And here's what they look like at night. Here's a view from Embarcadero Center, Embarcadero Ford. Um, can anybody see the PCC in the picture? Yep. <laughs> For those of you who can't. Okay. 1814 and 1818 passing. 1814 is now two-tone green, but has not gone in service yet. 1006 at Washington, or 1008, excuse me. 1077 at Broadway, another shot at Broadway, 1006 and 1073, 1075 at in, outbound at Broadway with Coit Tower on the left. Uh, this is a lineup of cars filled with people going to see the Queen Mary II in 2007. Uh, it was on its maiden voyage around the world, and San Francisco was, was a port of call. Mm -hmm. uh, 1070 leading a pack of cars with a Melbourne in the background, inbound. 162 is uh, approaching Green Street in this view from Broadway. Uh, crossing Broadway. Green Street, uh, the Exploratorium has moved here to Pier 15. Uh, 1811 at night, Christmas time, with Barcadero Center all lit up. <laughs> um, this is a tweaked shot. Uh, when I first posted this on Facebook, I, I had some whiny guy say, "Ah, the there there's all that crap on the uh, uh, above the roll sign, you know, drippings from trolley poles, trolley mm -hmm. wire." Uh, so I decided to uh, uh, do a little tweaking to make it look much nicer. Ten fifty seven, the Cincinnati car passing the jazz joint pier twenty three. Uh, eighteen eighteen seventy four. Uh, ten seventy four. The Brussels car also passing uh, pier twenty three. Ten oh uh, I should explain this building has been demolished. It's has made way for uh, the new cruise ship terminal here. Ten fifty five outbound. Ten seventy four approaching Greenwich. Same with ten seventy one. Reflection of ten ten in the Fog City Diner. Uh, Barcadero and Battery, uh, HDR image. Uh, this is at the Little Crook at Battery Street where the line turns from straight north to run northwestward. Birmingham car with uh, 
the Transamerica Pyramid and Goy Tower and the Bank of America building. 1818 passing Teatro Zinzani, where you can get love, chaos, and dinner. <laughs> not, not necessarily in that order. Uh, 1080, the food salad car. 1008, uh, Sansom Street. 1007 and 1010 at Bay Street, inbound. Uh, another inbound shot from the boat. Outbound at Bay Street, Mexico City. Uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul at Twilight. Uh, this is Embar uh, Barcadero and Kearney's, Kearney Street, uh, uh, 1010. Barcadero and Grant. Uh, car one, how hang outbound on Barcadero and Grant. And 1006 with that uh, um, identical uh, cruise ship, Norwegian, uh, Nor Nor Norwegian Pearl, and the other one is Norwegian Jewel. This was taken May 5th last year. 1009 on the Pier 39 loop. Uh, 1062 is heading outbound on Beach Street as 162 is in the loop. Louisville Railway. Never, Louisville, by the way, never ran PCCs, although it got some. Uh, 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 Peter, but I have to correct you. What? <laughs> yeah, they, they took him out for a test drive. Well, no, 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 but you're, you're missing it. No one would realize this unless you owned the video. The last day of Broadway in 1940, they had borrowed a Pittsburgh PCC and actually ran it in service on Broadway. That's true. Most people don't remember that. That's, that's you also can trick them up with this question about the That is also true. <laughs> but these, these Louisville... Uh, painted cars never carried passengers in Louisville. Okay. 952 heading outbound on Beach Street with the Crystal Harmony. 1006 uh, heading uh, inbound along Embarcadero towards. Uh, Jefferson Street, the Golden Gate Bridge, and Marin Headlands. Uh, 1074 at uh, Jefferson and Howell. Crystal Crystal White. 1074. Crystal White. Fruit Salad at Fisherman's Wharf. And uh, uh, one thirty at Fisherman's Wharf trailing shot. And Joe's crab shack. This I had eighteen eleven defying the rules of Muni by keeping a Milan car out all night long. The reason I did that was because the PCCs that they were going to trade off were not worth it. Uh, <laughs> so that's what says, much, much more comfortable with a Milan car. So I walked out to one of the uh, 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 platforms to take the picture. Uh, you know, I had a 15 minute layover. And you, you know what Eat and jo Edith Joe's had on its uh, uh, west wall for a while? Um, uh, it grows Joe's Crab Shack, free crab tomorrow. Oh yeah. 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 All right. Ten 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 seventy five and ten seventy seven. This is after they had 
painted uh, the garage blue and uh, yellow. Uh, 2007. Yeah, right. And uh, how it looks now. Uh, they did it again. Uh, very, very nice color, green. 1052, 1080, both Los Angeles cars. Uh, I, I made it my uh, purpose to shoot combinations like this, uh, you know, to, doc, uh, to document historic, the historical aspects of uh, the cities. Uh, Washington, D.C. in 76. Mm -hmm. And uh, 1070 at night. Uh, and, uh, uh, and this is it.